Today, let's take a look at the Jones H-Bar Pack. What's up everybody, Captain Bob here. Had a viewer request a little more information about the Jones H-Bar pack. So I went ahead and took it off the bike and also did some close-up videos so you can kind of see how it attaches. But this is the Jones H-Bar pack. This is designed to work with the H-loop bars of all different kinds. So even if you have the SG 2.5 like I have with the 2.5 rise, this pack will work fine for that. What I like about this pack is, is that it's, it's still relatively small, so I can get other packs up against it or underneath it easily. It's waterproof. It has a waterproof zipper also in the top, and it's a fairly good size. It holds actually more than what you would think. So let me tell you a little bit about what it comes with. You're gonna get the pack itself, which I can give you the dimensions on if you want. I've got the information pulled up here. But basically, it's 11 inches wide, three and a half inches front to, to rear and three and a quarter inches tall is the way they kind of classify it. It's gonna come with a lot of these Velcro loops like this that you can move up and down on these daisy chains to kind of adjust your mount depending upon the accessories you have on there. If you notice by mine, I have a cell phone holder, a GoPro holder rigged up, and so I had to kind of move these around a little bit. I also uh, think it's important to note that the this, the Velcro on these are different lengths, the straps are, so depending upon how your bars are laid out and where your stuff is at and how much padding you have, if you have your bars wrapped or don't have them wrapped, makes a difference on which of these you place where and, and how you rearrange them. You just kind of put them where you want and uh, you can strap it down on the bike then. The pull, once everything is mounted, this pull, even though it does have some drag, it, is, it does work pretty easily, but you can do it one-handed while you're riding. You can grab and pull them back and forth. Um, I, I kind of turned mine around based upon how I have my cell phone mounted and, and how the GoPro mount was there. But either way you mount it, front or rear, it seems to work fine. You are gonna have a little bit of room in there still to be able to get your hands on the bars or around the edges a little bit. And it is kind of soft and, and pliable, but it does, it does hold its shape really well once it has these mounting points in place. So what kind of things do you carry in this? Well. For me, it's a little bit of a variety of everything. I oftentimes will keep um, you know, a, a Bic lighter in there if I'm camping. I have my lights in there. I usually carry a backup tail light and headlight. I keep my uh, headlamp in there as well because it's within easy access. If you've ever done any setup in the evenings of setting up camp, you know how important and easy having a headlamp can be to help get you set up. Having it in easy reach like that really helps me get things unpacked. I know exactly where to go to. Also, it will double as a, a light at night if you need it. I also keep one of these small anchor battery packs like this, which this is the 5,000 milliamp size, but I can get one to two good charges out of this for a cell phone. Little bag comes with it, cords in it as well. All of that fits in there pretty easily to be able to Carry it along with you. Also, I keep snacks in here sometimes, a couple of uh, granola bar style snacks or energy drink packs or whatever. But to give you an idea of what'll fit, this is a standard 16 ounce bottle of water. You can very easily get um, a water bottle in here and still have room left over to put additional things in. So there's plenty of space in this pack to really get more stuff than you think. But what I like about it is it makes use of that empty space that's right there between the Jones bars, but still gives you the ability to get your hands in there and around there. Now this is about $65 on Jones bike website. And I think that's probably a little bit expensive, but when you compare it to things like what we see from Revelate and the other bag manufacturers, it's probably not far off the mark. Um, the jerry cans, the Revelate bag, feed bags, they're all about 50 to $60. I think if it was me, I think if this bag was priced about 50 to $55, I think that would be uh, more in line with what I think would be reasonable, but 
it is what it is. You're gonna pay shipping to get this from Jones, but they are always good about sending you things out quickly and getting them in a timely manner. They're gonna include in it some extra Velcro, so you'll get a couple of extra Velcro pieces that you can put in other places if you want to. They're not the loop style like this uh, with the plastic loop on them. They're just regular Velcro pieces that you can use in other places. Also, you're gonna get a whole bunch of stickers. Jones is great about when they send out a product. It always has three, four different stickers in there that you can use and put on your bike if you like to, to use stickers. So this is the H-Bar pack, about 65 bucks. I think it's a great pack if you've got a Jones bar, you're thinking about Jones bars and thinking, what do I do with this space? This H-Bar pack is good, waterproof, fits in the space perfectly. No matter if you have the traditional H-Bar or the H-Bar SG 2.5 that has the rise on it. Great little pack, fits the space well and still allows you to get other products and other things mounted underneath there for your, for your bike packing adventures. So I just want to get this out there. Appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the description. As always, we're on all the platforms and links are down there if you have interest. This is not sponsored. I purchased this and there's no affiliate program for Jones. So if you buy one, you just buy one because you like it. So I appreciate you watching. Hope this was helpful. See you again soon.